Greetings, esteemed friends. I am Jonathan Edwards, a minister from the 18th century. In those days, I was privileged to serve as an instrument of King Jesus during times of revival, dedicated to spreading the gospel of God. Today I have been called upon by Puritan Publications to introduce you to the wonderful work of a minister who preceded my own era by a generation. His name was Urian Oakes, a distinguished New England divine who held the esteemed position of president at Harvard College. In the days of its inception, Harvard College was established with a singular purpose, to train ministers in the ways of the gospel. And yet, look how far it has strayed from that noble mission in your modern age. Historical accounts by the Westminster divine Edmund Calamy paint a picture of President Oakes as a minister blessed with an uncommon sweetness of temper. His congregation held him in high regard, and he was a beloved figure among all who had the privilege of crossing his path. The work penned by Oakes, thoughtfully updated by Puritan publications, is a work of great significance for every Christian. It bears the title, The Victorious Christian Soldier in Christ's Army. But what does it truly mean to be a conqueror in the ranks of Christ's army? Indeed, the question that beckons is not merely about conquering, but about being more than a conqueror and a stalwart soldier in the service of Christ. Oakes, in this work, deeply considers the words of the Apostle Paul found in Romans 8 verse 37, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. This speaks of a victory that transcends the ordinary, a triumph over all adversaries that dare obstruct a Christian's journey towards the everlasting love of God in Jesus Christ. The adversaries of the gospel are relentless in their pursuit to hinder a Christian's path, but true believers attain an unmatched and gloriously triumphant victory, all thanks to the love of God in King Jesus. What may be difficult for you to hear is that every true believer is, in essence, a soldier. If you identify as a Christian, then you are to be a soldier enlisted in the ranks of spiritual warfare. The adversary, the devil, the old serpent of the garden, the one who wages war against your soul relentlessly, engages with you every day ceaselessly. This sets every devout believer on a perpetual battlefield before God, a struggle with no foreseeable end in this world. There is no respite from this ceaseless battle while we live this life before God. Yet, in the midst of this unending conflict, every true believer stands undefeated in any encounter with the forces opposing them. Every believer emerges victoriously, assured of their conquest, all because of their faith in Jesus Christ. The triumph of a believer is nothing short of magnificent, and it is the love of God in Christ that serves as the ultimate catalyst for these victorious endeavors. These believers in their relentless battle are among the mightiest soldiers to have ever walked the earth, combating the fiercest adversary the world has ever seen. Yet, they find solace and comfort in their fight through the divine blessings bestowed upon them by Almighty God through Christ. You can acquire this work at Puritan Publications, available in both ebook and printed editions. I implore you to explore its pages through the lens of Scripture, for it will reshape your perception of Christ upon His throne as the great King and of yourself as His valiant soldier. The content of this work is very practical and it is discriminating. It compels believers to introspect their standing before the Almighty as dedicated soldiers in His army. Every believer must acknowledge their role as soldiers in Christ's army, fully aware of the ongoing warfare that awaits them until they reach heaven's gates. As faithful soldiers, they must continually refine their combat skills and harness the spiritual power inherent in the everlasting gospel of Jesus for their ultimate victory. If they do not, they show themselves to be false professors. We patiently await, pray, and yearn for that glorious day when our warfare shall finally cease and we shall emerge from the battlefield victorious and triumphant as absolute conquerors. May this pursuit lead you to scriptural enlightenment, spiritual conviction, and boundless blessings. Amen.